that the Judicial Panel of Inquiry and Restitution on the Lecky Toll Gate shooting and cases of police brutality has presented its report to the Lagos State Governor. It recommended the establishment of a body to take over human rights abuses in Lagos and also awarded 410 million naira to 70 victims of police high handedness. Plus TV Africa's Lagos State House correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedoku reports. The judicial panel set up by the Lagos State government to investigate cases of police brutality started sitting on October 26, 2020 and received 235 petitions in just two months. It heard more than 100 cases by April this year and on Monday submitted two reports to the governor one on cases of police brutality and another on the Lekki Toll Plaza shooting. The chairman of the panel, retired Justice Doris Okobi, discloses that 10 cases were struck out for want of diligent prosecution, while four others were withdrawn by the petitioners. Justice Okobi says a total of 410 million naira was awarded to 70 victims. Governor Babajide Sobunlu is grateful to members of the panel for a job well done and is confident that the government's decision on the report would bring healing, reconciliation and restitution. This process will help us to start the, 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 the very difficult process of proper reconciliation, restitution, bringing together of everyone that must have, in one form or the other, been affected by either the police or any of our citizens that must have been wronged by one form or the other. The nine-man judicial panel of inquiry was set up to investigate cases of brutality and human rights violations brought against the police. A part of his recommendations includes the setting up of a body to handle reports of human rights abuses in Lagos State. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Uyedoku, for Plus TV, Africa. The lawyer to the NSAS protesters, Mr. Adeshino Gulona, lead counsel to NSAS protesters, is joining us live on the news right now. Thank you very much, Mr. Gulona, for joining us. Thank you so much. Good evening. Thank you. Um, what do you think of the report, even though we're yet to see all of the content uh, that it is in it? Well, I, 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 I want to say that um, it's a fantastic job uh, that um, gives a whole lot of hope uh, to, to us as uh, Nigerians. Uh, that report, from the much I know about it, uh, being an insider, I mean, a participant as a counsel to many protesters, and uh, I find out that there is exhibits uh, courage, candor, uh, forthrightness, and meticulousness. It was a clear uh, verdict. There was no shilly shally, no doubting, no, you know, very clear. They went, their report is 309 pages. Yes, it's quite a whole lot of work. And I must commend uh, all, all, the, uh, all, the, all the members of the panel and their support staff, the secretariat, uh, that worked assiduously uh, with the panel members uh, for, for about 13 months. Uh, and that's quite good. And the verdict was clear. There was, a mass, there was a massacre, and that it was the military that was responsible, the police were responsible, and that you find uh, the bodies like uh, the Lagos, uh, the Lekki Concession Company trying to do cover-ups. They commanded the military, uh, the medical personnel that, um, that came to the head of the injured people mm. that horrible night and the night that followed. Mm. And to find such courage, because when you set up the panel, I mean, so many people were so skeptical, very skeptical, that is it possible? How can a government set up a panel 
and the panel we indict it. You know, it was set up under very controversial circumstances. And yet, these gentlemen and ladies uh, really rose up to the occasion uh, to present a, what we call a credible finding. That, that's my view, and I'm quite happy and excited, and I'm, I'm very proud of the Justice to Okuobi led panel, particularly Justice Okuobi. Um, I'm curious about the recommendation for a body that will be responsible for human rights abuses in Lagos. Um, what do you Hello? think um, that that particular body would do? Um, are you sure, or rather, would you recommend that, you know, that be done? Because, of course, we have so many laws in this country. We have so many bodies that have almost the same responsibility. So if um, we're making this recommendation, do you think that um, it would change anything? If the recommendations uh, follow through, it will change. It will change a lot of things. And uh, let me say uh, that uh, even as we are commending this panel, let's commend also the Babajide Sanwolu government. Yes, the, uh, even though they are politicians, and one is still not convinced of their sincerity, you know, but so far, uh, generally, it will appear that they, they gave that panel quite a free hand to, to work, even though I had um, I have some reservations, but generally, by and large, and um, uh, the that government too uh, has done well to this point, but it will do better or best if it does not tamper or tinker with the recommendations. The recommendations are holistic. If I include it and set up a memorial and try to, to heal, uh, to heal the wounds, and I think I had the governor, that's Baba Jide himself, a few minutes ago saying something like a proper reconciliation, you know? If it's not glib talk, if it's not lip talk, if it's just not political statements, they should do the needful. But you see, we are not begging them to do the needful. You see, the Sorosoki generation, the answers protesters is a new breed of Nigerians. We want a change. We are not begging for our rights. We cannot beg them. They must do the right thing. If they okay. don't do the right thing, uh, by themselves, decently, as gentlemen, as people who are accountable, yes, okay. the forces will oppose them. Okay. Well, I want to say very, uh, a very big thank you to you. Thank you very much for speaking with us. We appreciate it. You're welcome, please. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.